Namaskar, a very warm welcome in today's session on Invasive Alien Species. Dear learner, in this session today I will be discussing about what are invasive alien species, how they are affecting not only our agriculture production but also in broader term the biodiversity, environmental health, public health and individual health. I will also be discussing about various invasion pathway of uh, alien species and the international conventions related to invasive alien species. To start with the alien species as the name indicate these are plants, animals or fungi or microorganism that has been transported across ecological barriers. What are ecological barriers? Ecological barriers such as mountain range or ocean. The reason for this ecological barrier transportation is basically human intervention. And it has become that the area where they established, it is an area which is outside their natural range. So invasive alien species are, we can say these are a leading threat to biodiversity. The alien species, they exert tremendous cost and tremendous pressure on agriculture, forestry, fisheries and also in other human enterprises. Not only this, they also affect human health. We know that due to rapidly accelerating human trade or tourism, transport, travel over the past century from one country to another country or from one ecological barrier to other, it has enhanced the spread of invasive species and it has, it has created a natural geographical barrier transaction by these species. As far as agriculture sector is considered, we are uh, from a very long period of time, we are familiar with invasive alien species. These invaders are pathogens and insect which has sometimes wiped out the entire crop or all the livestock. So invasive alien species has threatened the livelihood and sometimes the national economy. So we can say that these invasive alien species, they are maybe animal, pest, viruses, pathogens and plants that has become one of the most serious threats to ecology and economy well-being of almost every habitat and region on the earth. So in this uh, session, we will be discussing invasive alien species and how they are affecting human health, environment and also the social well-being. So after completing this session, you will be able to define what are invasive alien species, what is their pathway for establishment. You will be able to describe the impact of invasive species to environmental health and also some of the international instruments which are related or relevant to IES or invasive alien species as these are popularly called. As far as definition is concerned, the invasive species are an introduced alien, exotic, non-indigenous or non-native species which specs, which uh, is uh, living outside its native distributional range and which has arrived there by human activity either deliberately or accidentally. If we see non-native species, they can have various effects on the local ecosystem. Introduced species as they are also called, they have a negative effect on the local ecosystem and are also known as invasive species. Alien as the word we know, these are non-native species, they have been introduced as I have told you accidentally or intentionally and intentional introduction basically is uh, uh, through economic, environmental and social consideration. If I give you an example in forest sector like pinus, eucalyptus and acacia species, they are important source of pulp, timber and fuel wood. Yet at the same time, they are they uh, place tremendous strain on water resources and they call the alien species in that particular environment. Some introduced species are able to boom at a new location. They have the favorable biological property which allow them to flourish in more numbers quickly. 
so they out compete often they out compete native plant and animal species whether it is for food whether it is for water whether it is for space and usually they are able to reproduce and spread more quickly than the native species so when we say biological invasion by alien or non native species they are widely recognized as significant component of human caused global environmental change and it is you will be amazed to know that it is second most important cause of biodiversity decline they are threatening they have threatened many ecosystem they have serious environmental economic and health impact in particularly if you see they impact adversely the biodiversity Uh, which include decline or elimination of native species through competition predation transmission of pathogens and also through the disruption of local ecosystem and ecosystem function these ias or invasive alien species they pose a profound impact on human as well as in ecosystem and as i've told you they can be a reason they can be a cause of heavy economic loss uh either it is through the reduced crop or livestock production in agriculture ecosystem or through reduction of biodiversity in natural ecosystem and the cost the loss of cost it involve uh, also to control their rapid spread and impacts on human health these non native species they destroy ecosystem they destroy habitat species and they are also the second greatest agent of species endangerment endangerment and extinction after habitat destruction so you may be wondering what are the means of species introduction like i told that they may be accidental or they may be intentional but if you see the means of species introduction they they the way the first thing they must colonize and then persist in the new environment a small percentage of this may then become abundant and dominant component of that plant community for example uh, if you take an annual grass that is called cheat grass bromus tectorum it was accidentally introduced from asia to the grassland throughout the world and now it occupies many millions of hectare in the environment in which it was introduced so an ornamental plant which is called cartwheel flower it escaped its garden environment it is now known as giant hogweed and it is a serious problem on three continent so what i mean to say is that whether it is introduced uh, purposely or accidentally the non native species or invasive alien species are they can out compete the native species and they they can create ecological havoc in that particular ecosystem same way the pinus radiata montanari pine it is originally from a small area in the western united state and it was planted for wood production worldwide this tree is now considered a weed in many region the there are many example where which has illustrated that diversity of growth forms they can affect the ecosystem of that particular area through this biological invasion if i talk about india especially in northwest himalaya ageratum conijoit parthenium lentana camara and uh, there are many species which are major invader and they are causing huge loss to indigenous species diversity in that part of the world so in invasive alien species whether they are introduced deliberately uh, for example like for forage for fiber for medicine for ornamental or for erosion control or for timber plantation so these are the reason for uh, deliberate introduction and accidental accidental introduction they can be uh, through ballast in shape impure crop seeds adhesion to domesticated animal soil surrounding roots of nursery stock and various activities such as agriculture logging grazing they further enhance establishment of invasive species by creating disturbed site for colonization agriculture if you see it also facilitate invasion when pests in agro ecosystem are exposed to agricultural practices for many generation resulting in selection for characteristic that makes them persistent and noxious 
Introduced species, they often consume or prey on the native one, overgrow them, infect or vector disease them, compete with them, attack them, hybridize with them. So in that way, they affect the native species. They change the whole ecosystem by all these process, also by altering hydrology, fire regime, nutrient cycling and other ecosystem processes. And often the same species that threaten biodiversity also cause grave damage to various natural resource industries. The zebra mussel, for example, Lantana camara, as I was telling, Kurju, Brazilian pepper, and uh, rats, there are all uh, economics as well as ecological catastrophe. So, invasive non native species are taxonomically diverse through certain groups. They have produced particularly large number of damaging invaders, whether they are mammals, whether they are plant, whether they are insects. Thousands of species have been extinguished or still they are at risk from invasive alien species, especially on island and also on continent. So many native ecosystems have been irretrievably lost to invasion. For example, we know about the weeds, they cause agriculture production loss uh, in many uh, cases more than 25% or more. They can degrade the catchment area, near shore marine system, freshwater ecosystem. These all are invading the agriculture system. There are many chemicals which are used to manage these weeds. They further degrade the ecosystem, not only they affect the uh, ecosystem but also the Cost is also involved for environmental destruction, habitat fragmentation, global climate change and other uh, effect from these invaders. The, now I will discuss few common traits which are found in invasive alien species. They all share a common characteristic. So through this common characteristic they thrive uh, more easily on arrival into a new environment. These uh, common traits are fast growth, they are very fast grower, they rapidly reproduce, they have very high dispersal ability, they lack natural predator because they are new to in that particular environment, they are not having the predator, so they flourish more easily, they grow more easily, they reproduce more easily and they have an ability to survive in a wide range of environmental condition. Beside that, they have ability to consume a variety of food sources. Whatever the uh, kind of food sources are available, they can consume. They have ability to adapt to changing environmental condition and they have a ability to displace native species. The reason for displacing native species is mostly by competition for various type of uh, natural resources whether it is food or water or space or other thing. They efficiently uh, compete with these. Now uh, coming to the invasion pathway, there are many variety of invasion pathway that has been identified by convention of biodiversity. Basically, uh, according to CBD or Convention of Biodiversity, the invasion pathways are classified um, broadly into six uh, classification. One is deliberate, deliberate release, second escape, third contamination, five stowaway, uh, fourth stowaway, fifth corridor and sixth is unneeded. When we talk about deliberate release, for example, game animal biocontrol agents or plant used to shape the landscape. When we say escape, they can escape from gardens, from aquaculture or zoos. When we say contamination, contamination in plant, they may be pathogen, they may be pest that are unintentionally transported. Stow away is in ballast water or in cargo or in air flight. They may uh, invade through corridor for example, roads, canals, which highlight the role of transport infrastructure they can play in invasion and then unaided. The unaided is through the natural spread of an alien species from another region where it is non-native. So invasion pathway for uh, successful uh, establishment if you see, 
the invasive species basically require three main steps. The first is introduction in a particular area, introduction, then the establishment and third one is spreading. Some non-native species, they are also imported intentionally for economic purpose. But after their arrival, they unintentionally in shipping containers under the bark of log import, inf infesting fruits carried by the uh, tourists or uh, swimming in ballast water, exchange in harbor or hidden in soil of imported ornamental plant. Most are harmless or fail to become established, but some few are able to proliferate, they are able to spread in ways they endanger the native species in an invadive ecosystem. What I wanted to say is that not all the species which are transported are able to establish themselves in the new ecosystem. So for their establishment, introduction is there. But establishment and spread are also very important factor uh, as far as IAS or invasive alien species are concerned. So the initiation of the process uh, of introduction, it can occur through long distance migration of movement or through transportation. For example, Parthenium, it has come to India along with the wheat grains. Then uh, through aquarium plants also, water ferns, water lettuce, they can come as far as long distance migration or movement is concerned. For example, the brown plant hopper, uh, Neela, Parvat, uh, Lugans and Rice, they have come through long distance migration. So when the uh, alien species is introduced into a new location, it, uh, there are certain biological attributes which can contribute to the success as an invader in the new habitat, whether it is uh, in agriculture, whether it is in horticulture, whether it is forestry or whether it is in ornamental plant or various type of uh, uh, items which has transported uh, through timber, food grain, fodder, etc. They have certain biological attribute which help them in their invasion. The attributes may be production of large number of easily dispersable, lightweight seed, fast growth rate, better competitive resource capture and utilization ability as compared to native plants. So once they invade it, they need to be established. So after initial successful colonization, the next stage of invasion is characterized by a amiable self-sustaining population. The species which are having high intrinsic growth rate are more likely to establish successfully. The species of agriculture weeds which are having heavier seeds, they have experienced fast germination rate and they sometimes they were better invader than the species with smaller seeds. The second is competitive ability. The competitive ability is the another trait that is uh, uh, that offer an advantage for an invasive species during the establishment. If you see many studies, they have documented that invasive species have a superior ability to exploit local resources as compared with native residents or compared to non-invasive introduced species. There are many examples, uh, for example, Centuria diffusia, uh, anoxious invasive weed in North America, if you see it has stronger negative effect on biomass production for North American grasses than from grasses for its native Eurasian communities. The third is spreading. The spreading of a species into area which is away from its initial site of introduction, it required that number one introduced species that should overcome the barrier to dispersal within the new region and number two, it should be able to cope with the abiotic environment and biota in that particular general area. So these are the pathway of invasion. Now coming to the impact of invasive alien species into various economic, social and environment. Uh, environment. Uh, the impact, uh, they, they, as we have discussed the impact, they include displacement of native species, change of soil chemical profile, uh, rewarding pollination better than the native species, thereby reducing the reproductive success of local species, changing hydrological rhythm, 
making the new habitat which is fire prone and limiting the photosynthetic efficiency of the local species by reducing light ability. But in uh, discussing in, it in detail when we talk about economic, when it is, uh, we talk about financial loss or gain, environmental, we will be talking about biodiversity, ecosystem structure and function and also social, how it is affecting the human health, happiness and cultural value. The first thing is ecological impact, impact on ecosystem, ecosystem services and biodiversity. So as uh, I've told you that uh, the impact of invasive species is second only to a habitat destruction as they cause the biodiversity loss. They are more threat to biodiversity than the pollution uh, and uh, they impact the habitats they invade by reducing the abundance of native species and altering the ecosystem process. So uh, the impact if you see uh, it is through predation, through competition for food, for space, for hybridization, by introduction of harmful pathogen and parasites. They affect the normal functioning of the ecosystem by, as I've told, by altering either through fireism, through hydrology, neutral cycling and uh, through uh, productivity, changing the productivity. So they tend to uh, completely change the ecosystem thereby changing the ecosystem balance, ecosystem services etc. There are many examples when the species have been introduced into the ecosystem, desired ecosystem either to deliberately or through accidentally and that has created the entire change into the ecosystem productivity or ecosystem functioning by out competing the native species either repressing them or ex either excluding them uh, changing the fundamental aspects of ecosystem services and ecosystem. We know that the biodiversity has a very critical role to play we all know about the keystone, keystone species so by changing the biodiversity of that particular area it, uh, it causes a change in ecosystem services. We know about the ecosystem services, whether these are provisioning services, supporting services, or they are regulating services or cultural services. The services, for example, flood control, water supply, or uh, water assimilation, or nutrient cycling, or conservation and regeneration of soil. All these gets affected by the invasive species. So, uh, the changing goods and services which is supplied by the ecosystem it uh, we know that it contributes significantly to the income generation for instance uh, for instance different medicinal plant species and many native forest plants have uh, domestic or pastoral use so they play very important role as a source of food as a source of drink construction material tools firewood and medicine so not only it affects the biodiversity ecosystem ecology but also the livelihood also many people so there are economic and social concern also the just to give you an example of uh, economic loss uh, in uh, america the cost for uh, uh, ex uh, damage and control, the estimated cost for damage and control of invasive alien species is billions of dollars in America also, in Europe also. Beside that, these species affect the human health as uh, they uh, function as a vector disease or they cause allergies or they cause skin damage. So they are having the ecological and social attack social effect they sometimes uh, can cause uh, the uh, trigger the attack of asthma they can cause the hay fever etc aquatic species are also they are threat to biodiversity ecosystem functioning economic development etc so there are number of example where they have affected the ecosystem economy and social life the effect is also on public health. We have known that there are uh, there is recorded history. There are recorded history of epidemics such as malaria, yellow fever, typhus, baboonic plague, 
and now the COVID also which has introduced organism as vectors and reservoir. We know about the COVID how it has affected the entire globe, entire population by causing the disease and uh, causing the epidemics. There are many other IAS or AIS also, for example, invasive muscles uh, that has uh, increased the organic pollutants such as uh, polychlorinated biphenyls or polychlorinated hydrocarbon and these toxins accumulate in the tissue and are passed in the food chains. The invasive avian species also affect the human health as I was telling you they are carrier of disease. Uh, like Asian tiger mosquito that has been linked to more than 20 diseases which include yellow fever, chikungunya. The climate change projection has also shown that mosquito will likely extend its range in coming year. It is extending. The changing landscape are also another result of invasive species. For example, if I take the example of red palm weevil, it is destroying the large number of palms in the Mediterranean region and it is transforming the green spaces in cities. There are number of international programs, for example, Global Invasive Species Program or uh, IUCN or International Plant Protection Convention all these are important convention and treaties which deals with invasive alien species. So uh, uh, finally I can sum up that threat by invasive plant alien species has uh, been increasing uh, with the rapid growth of globalization. These species are contributing in reduction of the agriculture, livestock and forest productivity. They alter the soil quality, they promote the land degradation and they affect the essential ecosystem services or ecosystem function. By altering the species either composition, they are changing the fire region, they are changing the food web, nutrient cycling, hydrology and so on and so forth. So they are posing enormous threat to native species by changing the diversity. They are even leading to extinction of rare and endangered species. So the overall impact is on economy, ecology, social, social concerns are there. So management and control of these invasive alien species, they present some important challenges for decision maker. So globally, if you see preventing their introduction is seen as a cornerstone for uh, effective measure for dealing with this IUS. So we approach that uh, this uh, approach is believed to be the most cost effective and environmentally sound approach as one, once an invasion species becomes established eradication may be impossible and ecological damage will occur. So early detection stopping the invasion they are important step when we talk about the controlling of invasive alien species. With this, I uh, thank you for attending this session. Thank you.